In this lesson, we will see the limitation of a single layer neural network. We are going to use the function batch that we have created before. That means we are not going to re-implement the function. However, we are going to write a script first, which will call this function, train and test the network. That means there will be no separate training and testing script. Everything will be packed in one script. The purpose of this script is to find out the limitation of a single layer neural network. Let's get started. This is the code we have written in our implementation of batch method lesson. Let's train it again. Then test it. The results are more than 99% accurate. Now let's create a new script and save it as limitation. Copy the code from training script and paste it here. Change the correct output to 0, 1, 1, 0. Then set n equals 4. Create a for loop which will iterate for n times. Transpose the rows of the input matrix. Then calculate the weighted sum. And finally, pass the weighted sum to the input argument of sigmoid function. This is the end of the for loop. Now click on run. Here is the result. Our result is not even close to the correct output. Let's increase the number of epoch. Run the script again. Still the same. Everything in this script is as same as the batch method where we have got above 99% accuracy. And in this case, we are getting literally nothing. What could be the reason? Can you gaze? The only thing we have changed here is the correct outputs. These were our previous correct outputs and these are current correct outputs. Simply for changing the correct output, the entire network failed to generate any acceptable result. This is the limitation of single layer neural network. It does not work in every situation. It works for some particular situation. So, in which situation a single layer neural network work? The answer is, when the solution are linearly separable, only then single layer neural network works properly. So what on earth linearly separable is? When we can separate two different solutions with a straight line, it is called linearly separable. In our dataset, there are four correct outputs. However, there are two solutions only. They are zeros and ones. If we can separate zeros and ones with a straight line, then they are linearly separable. In this figure, you can see here zeros and ones can be separated using a straight line. That means it is linearly separable. And in this figure, there is no way to draw a straight line to separate the zeros and ones. We must have to use complicated curve to separate them. That means it is linearly inseparable. So we have understood what is linearly separable and inseparable. Now we will use this concept 
to identify the reasons of having incorrect output for our single layer neural network. Do you understand what a 1D plane is? It is a straight line where each position is expressed by one variable only. For example, this is an x axis. Any position on this line will be expressed in terms of x variable. For example, here x equals 0 0.5 or here x equals 1 and so on. This is a 2D plane. Here each position is represented using 2D variables x and y. For example, the position of this point here is xy equals 1 1. Here xy equals 1 0 and here xy equals 0 1. Now let's extend our knowledge to 3D plane. In a 3D plane, each position is expressed using three variables x, y and z. For example, the position of this point is x, y, z equals 1, 1, 1. Here, x, y, z equals 0, 1, 0. The position of this point is x, y, z equals 0, 0, 1. For this point, x, y, z equals 1, 0, 0. And the origin is x, y, z equals 0, 0, 0. Let's compare our data set with a 3D plane. We have a data set where there are inputs and correct outputs. Each input data has three binary elements and each correct output has only one binary element. These three binary elements actually represents XYZ position in 3D plane. And the correct output represents the value at that corresponding point. Let's find the positions of the input data and assign the values to that position. Start with the first data set 0, 0, 1. And the correct output is 0. It means x equals 0, y equals 0, and z equals 1. The position will be here, and the value at this position is 0. Now in the second data set, input is 0, 1, 1, and the correct output is 1. That means x equals 0 y equals 1 and z equals 1. The position will be here and the value at this point is 1. In the third data set, input is 1, 0 and 1. Correct output is 1. That means x equals 1, y equals 0 and z equals 1. This is the position, and the value at this position is 1. The fourth data set is 1, 1, 1, and the correct output is 0. The location will be x equals 1, y equals 1, and z equals 1, and the value at this location is 0. Now notice carefully. Here these zeros and ones are not linearly separable. To separate them, we need a curve. And this is the reason our network was failing to generate the correct output. Because single layer neural network can divide the solution space linearly only. If it requires non-linear function, single layer neural network fails to classify the output and that's exactly what happened in our network if we would have taken 0011 as correct output then they would be linearly 
separable like this and the network would generate excellent result however we have 0 1 1 0 as correct output and the network couldn't generate expected result this is the limitation of single layer neural network it is applicable to problems which datasets are linearly separable however if we add more layers in the network then it is possible to apply neural network in any situation when we add more than one layer in neural network it becomes multi-layer neural network and in the next lesson we are going to learn multi-layer neural network single layer neural network is simple and easy to understand when we add more layers with it and for multi-layer neural network it becomes complicated no matter how complicated it is there is nothing to worry about i'll explain the concept in such a way that you will understand everything without facing any difficulty we will start multi-layer neural network in the next lesson and i'll see you there